Welcome back. As reported earlier, Jamaican international recording star Shaggy. Mr. Bombastic. Is the latest reggae star to grace the stage of the Moon Palace Jamaica Grand Concert Series. After the concert, the bombastic Mr. Lover Lover sat down with me at the Ocherius property for a career update and weighed in on just about everything topical and controversial in reggae. Forever in my eyes, you know, let's be the one for me. Let me congratulate you now um, um, for your Shaggy and Friends effort, the latest. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Which um, donated some uh, 55 million, 55 right, million yeah. dollars yeah. to the hospital. Isn't, yeah. Would you say that that is the, is it not your biggest? Um, no, I, I said the somewhere. biggest was the one before that, uh, the year when Tessan was on The Voice. But. All right, let's talk a little bit now about your career. Mm. An update, really. Um, okay. Last year you, you researched in Main Street, international Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, who, what do you credit for that? <laughs> timing. It was right. just timing. I, I knew that after, after we left um, MCA. You know, I, I, was, I was at MCA Records. We had hot shot, um, we had all the success. And, but the problem at MCA, I was the only artist on that label that was making money. They said, playing can't fly upon one, upon one wing. Mm -hmm. uh, they shut the record company down and moved us over to a company called Geffen, which was a newly formed company. Um, new staff, new everybody. So no, I couldn't get the people that, who used to be advocates of Shaggy to um, really be in love with the act okay. and get behind us. And so it was downhill from that point. At, at, after that, which, you know, I can literally begged off the label. Um, mm -hmm. They finally gave us a release in, in 06. When you're an artist that sells this amount of records, they're not going to want to let you go easily. Mm -hmm. So it took me a minute to really, you know, beg my way and cry my way off. And as soon as I got released in December, I wrote Church Eid in November. I wrote Church Eid in December and released it. Uh, and then uh, December was number one by January. Mm -hmm. And I just put out a reggae album, dancehall album, um, which is the Intoxication album. Then I went ahead and I did a full reggae album with Shaggy and Sly and Robbie. Yes. All right. All of that was part of solidifying the brand, you know, um, making the brand credible, and also putting together a, new, a, 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 a team, new team of people that can basically be effective on the mainstream. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So, it's, you know, we had new management along with my existing team. Our so, put so together. that period was restructuring it of was, the Shaggy yes, brand? Absolutely, we had, to, we had to restructure. You know, of course, it, you know, Robert and I wasn't, wasn't um, mm -hmm. doing business together anymore. So we needed, we know we, we needed new people. And, um, you know, we now manage um, by Compound Entertainment, who also manages Neo. And um, you know, and just kind of put up, put them with, with our team. We still have Rossi and we still have Q and we still have our ranch team, mm -hmm. and put it together. And we're just working. And straight to mainstream. And straight to mainstream. Um, a friend of ours, Casti, came, and he presented an amazing song. And uh, I need your love. You know, I did my thing to it. And uh, Casti and I had worked together on several uh, other projects. We did um, I Wanna with Bob Sinclair, which was a massive record in Europe. And, um, you know, we literally come in now and just brought this new one to me and say, hey, what do you think, think about it? I, at that point, was in the middle of doing a new deal with um, Brooklyn Knights, Sony. And by the time we finished doing the, the contract, yes. you know, which took us you know, a couple of weeks well, um, we were at about 9 million views on um, I Need a Love. Mm -hmm. And so I convinced them at that point to, to take that as the first single, which they did, and the rest is history. Once that machine was behind it, we had all the right people in place, and our team was re-energized and excited and ready to go. What was very lucky for us is that the song happened the same time as we were doing the deal. Okay. So, I got so, you. so instead of the, 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 we did the deal with Sony, I know they have to come out, okay, we have to put you in the studio and find a single. It presented itself. You had something itself. to go with right away. Right. Yeah. And, and, we, and that was already done by us. You know, we, you know the video was shot by, by Costi. You know, we did it in, in Spain. You know, we're already on a roll. 
So w what has it done in terms of impact to the brand? Well, it's the door in relation no. to where you were before. Oh, well, yeah, listen, it's, it's, it, we have had this, this, this discussion throughout the industry, right, mm -hmm. where, where people are, the, the, the amazing thing is like, the big thing they said to me is like, how does he come back? Yes. Constantly. Just keep coming back. That's the first thing they're saying. Um, because most people ride a wave. Mm -hmm. You know, very few artists, you know, let it die down, const just totally die down and come right back. Yes. Uh, I, I can think of probably Justin Timberlake. You know, people, people like Rihanna and some of these people, they haven't taken a break. Mm -hmm. They just continue to keep it going by riding that wave. And listen, I don't recommend it either. Okay. <laughs> ride the wave if they can ride the wave, yes. you know. And I, and I don't think that we sit down and strategically say, well, we're going to make it die down totally and start back. It's the circumstances in people's careers that get us to that point where, where everything died on after Brill back. But I, I think it's to, it is to be commended um, to the ones who can basically take it back from zero to the top. We had a tw top 20 record. We did it on a shoestring budget. Um, mm -hmm. We had a two single deal with, with, with Sony. No, we just, they picked up the cause of that song and the success of both that song and Only Love. We have, we, uh, they picked the option up for a multi-album now. And mm -hmm. so now we're about to present the new single uh, coming here in, in May. And now that the record company is now invested on, in, in you as an album, with an album, yes. as to a single, now we have a little bit more budget, we can actually go out there, we can work a little bit harder and, and do some more things. Where does that leave your work as a producer, the investor, the music business investor, um, Shaggy? Yeah. Um, I know you were doing heavy work in, in production, you yeah. were. Yeah. Um, where does that leave all of that? We still do, we still do that. Um, Ranch Entertainment, it, it, it still operates. Um, our new artist, that uh, Q really runs most of that, um, a DJ Q. Really, kind of spearhead most of that. Uh, there's an artist by the name of Kemar um, Icon. Obviously, we started off, part of the whole ranch situation was with Tessan. Yes. You know, and, and we wanted that to manifest to be the door open of everything else. It didn't quite work that way. Um, but we still, you know, we haven't given up. We've, you know, brought on new artists. And this well, is wouldn't one of the this ones. give you more clout to open oh, doors absolutely. for new artists? Oh, absolutely, for absolutely, absolutely. This is, you know, what I did with I Need Your Love was what we wanted to do with Tess. Yes. You know, which was the door opener. Yeah. And, and um, it didn't quite work that way. So, you know, I just went back in the saddle. <laughs> I just did it. All so. right. The, the declaration by Billboard, mm -hmm. Just Stone. Just Stone, yeah. Reggae artist of 2015. Mm -hmm. what, what's your take on that? Hey, I have no problem with it at all. Mm -hmm. Reggae has been done. I, I remember in a 1993, had. Apache Indian did a song called Boom Shakalak, which he took from him and I used to hang out at the time, and he did a song called Boom Shakalak, which kind of sampled the whole Carolina vibe. Yes. When I went to India, it was the biggest, biggest thing. Shaggy's name was huge. Reggae was, was a part of that mainstream. That happened because of him. Naki did the same thing for us in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. This has been happening over and over again, where people from different um, lifestyles and genres, whatever it is, embrace reggae, it only makes it better. If just if just one comes and do a reggae album and she get it, so be it. Because she did she you know she did she did a reggae album. <laughs> <laughs> and it was based on and it was based on sales. And it based on sale. If it sells it sell. We, yes. you know you can't you know you, you, you can't go against that. She did her thing and she's a very not, it's not like you have to remember just one is a very credible artist too, you know. Of course. You know what I'm saying I've I've been following her career for years, you know. Um, she's a very credible artist, and she did a reggae album, and it, and it did well, you yeah. know. And, and the, I think the whole controversy had made, because I've, I've read a couple of comments from her, is, is you can see that she's almost apologetic. Another declaration, <laughs> Billboard again, yeah. Sean Paul, that's mm -hmm. okay. Your take? Hey, I, if he's the, if them put him as a dancer king, congratulations again too, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? As far as, as far as I'm concerned, it is... I am conveniently dancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you hear that something about, it, something about the reggae artists or dancer artists, they say, oh, but look what Shaggy you talk about. Yes. <laughs> yeah, then another minute you're not dancer. So, you know, congratulations, man. Everybody all right? Their, their justification is, again, numbers, mm -hmm. sales. Mm -hmm. Your name was called to. Mm -hmm. That you and Sean, mm -hmm. in the last 10 years, or 20 years, mm -hmm. sold more dancehall records than anybody else in the music. Okay. Um, that's Billboard now responding to the controversy because, of course, you know, you know something like that was going to generate a lot of controversy in Jamaica mm -hmm. when you look at the iconic 
DJs and mm -hmm. hardcore dancehallers in Jamaica who were not even considered in this whole dance hall. And in fact, there's a king. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, um, Beanie Man is, is the known king in Jamaica. Listen, they, uh, uh, this king of the dance hall thing has been, been, been going around for years. I remember one time I was in, on David Levy program and um, there, was a, there, was a country, there was a dispute between Beanie Man and Yellow Man over who was king and then there was a call in from Shabarangs who said he was king too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember that. Late yeah, 90s, so, and yes. then Shabba Vex and Chain said no one kingship no more, no more emperor now. Mm. Hey, hey, they are their titles. What, what does it do for, for you and me, pocketbook at the end of the day? Yeah. Seriously, I mean, it doesn't make no sense. Not that, you're not, you don't, yeah, you, you nah. don't, you're not ruffled by these things. No, nah, nah, you're not. The, here, Papa. the, the, um, the rebranding mm -hmm. of Dancehall, what we know as Dancehall, mm -hmm. to tropical, somebody's calling it tropical house. You, I don't think that, it's a rebranding at all. Okay. So, so, Dancehall is Dancehall. So, dance so this tropical house is just is dance out. So okay. <laughs> yeah, so mean, is that not a name for dance out? Yeah, That's how you see it. It's, it's just marketing. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's marketing. It's you know, if, if they just say dance out again, you know, people. Some people tend to look at it as 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 be, it being old or or old or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Them just brand it new, mm -hmm. put a new name on it. It's like you go to a nightclub, right? And the nightclub it have a name before and them change it now. But you go in a nightclub at the same nightclub, see? Or the night you used to name fiction, not name fiction fantasy. Mm -hmm. See a nightclub. So <laughs> Jamaica, so they dance hall artists brand it the same way. Uh, the, the, the dance hall, dance hall artists should not be concerned about no, it. Not, not the rebranding, not at all. It, the the rebranding is basically put it this way. Here we are now. Dance hall is back in the major charts again. Yes. Whether you want to call it tropical house or whatever it, it call, you are mean was dance hall. Okay. It is dance hall. It is now back on the mainstream again. Rihanna is, is doing it. Yes. Justin Bieber is, is doing it. Omi has, has been doing it. Myself has been doing it. We're all back on the charts again. Oh, uh, I, in my mind, it's hybrid dance hall. Dance hall mixed with other genres. Yes. Well, you were doing yeah. it before everybody else. Which, which is, which is well, what which I've been you, doing you, forever. You were infusing <laughs> pop in dance hall. And was from... criticized for it. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Heavily. And then now they're, now they're, they're, they're doing it now like it's not. And it is, and it's burning up mainstream. A absolutely, because that's the that's that's how you get in. You know, you have to remember now, you're taking a culture, mm -hmm. right? It's not you know you know put dance on because dance on music. You're taking a whole culture and throwing it into the hands of of mainstream America, some of whom are not familiar with the culture. Yes, you can't just give them it. So you have to kind of give them it a little way where they can digest it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And get into it. And what you find out is people who who might find, who, who, who might um, like a Shaggy, you know, or a Sean Paul, the more them get into the genre, the more them discover people like a Bounty Killer. Yes. See, you know, or a Popcorn. So you're dragging see. through those Yeah, because, the they, they, because once they've got, they, they, they get familiar. Because if you go up on iTunes and you go, Shaggy or Sean Paul, it's a whole, whole thing of reggae and dance all artists still. Yes. And at that point, you're going to start listening to other, to other, other styles and say, wow, wow, I like this, I like that. This is nothing for people to be concerned about or be, you know, be ignorant or pissed off about. But it, 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 so what? I'm changing him. Mm -hmm. Take it and run with it. <laughs> you know? Shaggy, thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. All the best. Yes, sir. Love to take you to higher heights. Uh. Let love hold you up tonight. Uh. When you know nothing's going right, you don't so long to love. It's worth the fight. Uh. All right, there you have it, Mr. Bombastic Shaggy. And that brings us to the end of our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of the team, Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Holy love can conquer all the moon mountains when the gold makes you warm again. Holy love is a broken heart within two thousand drinking to the storm again. Find the joy, let go of the past. Look in bed, you was like a Trojan horse again. Can't give up, only been find the strength from within us yourself. Can you lose my heart again? I know you're hurting. Thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. 
Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Feel, feel of music, the feel, feel of lyrics. Last. Lyrics are something we care fun, enjoyment, and entertainment.